All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna be taking the best player in the entire NHL, which is Connor McDavid, and I'm gonna be throwing him into Europe. That is right, he's gonna play in five different European leagues on five different teams, and we're gonna simulate and see what would happen if Connor McDavid decided he was too good for the NHL and he wanted to travel the world dominating hockey leagues in Europe. All right, so here's Connor McDavid. He's gonna start out in the CHL on the, I gotta be honest, I have no clue how to pronounce this team name, but the reason that I put him on here is because their logo looks almost identical to the Edmonton Oilers logo. I mean, it's green instead of blue and it has a rooster on it. But other than that, it kind of looks like the Edmonton Oilers logo. So that is why he's here. Now here is Connor McDavid. He's a 97 overall, obviously on the first line alongside Sandine and Enstrom. Basically, you should expect Connor McDavid to absolutely dominate and carry this team. So let's simulate and find out how good Connor McDavid would be if he chose to leave the NHL and go to Europe. So Connor McDavid's team, which is Rogel, BK are going to end up finishing first in the CHL. They will go 28, 16, 5, and 3, and they were three points ahead of second place. Honestly, at the beginning of the season, it was a very rocky start. They did not have a good record to start with, but they came alive in the back end of the season. Surprisingly enough, Connor McDavid is actually not going to have that crazy of a season. Only 35 goals and 84 points in 52 games. Now, let's be honest, he did better than this in the NHL, so this is kind of disappointing. Sandine had 19 goals and 43 three points. Zar had 33. Willander 31. For the entire CHL, Connor McDavid is still going to lead it in goals with 35 and points with 84. Followed by Riders 53. Dallin 53. Ryan had 52. Lund had 51. Louis Erickson had 17 goals and 45 points. I gotta be honest, I did not know this man was playing in Europe. What happened to Louis Erickson, man? That trade to the Vancouver Canucks and he got signed on that extension. That literally was the downfall of his career. He never lived up to that. Now, for the CHL playoffs, this is what it's going to look like. There's four different series. So there's going to be a quarterfinal, a semifinal, and then the finals, baby. So let's see if Connor McDavid can lead his team to the CHL finals. And just like that, Rogel BK are in the SHL finals. Honestly, I have no clue who they're up against. In the first round, Connor McDavid's team would absolutely dominate, sweeping their opponent. But in the second round, we actually would end up going to game seven and we would clutch out a three nothing game seven victory to get here. But can Connor McDavid go on and win the SHL league title in his very first season there. And in Connor McDavid's very first season in the CHL, he's going to go on and win the CHL Cup. Unfortunately, there was no cutscene in the CHL, so this is just going to be the Stanley Cup cutscene in playoff mode. We would end up actually winning the CHL. I will show you guys after this. But Connor McDavid is going to light up the CHL and go on and win the title. Now, obviously, Connor McDavid is going to take home the con Smythe for the Rogue BK or Rogel, whatever the hell their name is. Regardless, I just picked them because their logo looks exactly like the Edmonton Oilers logo. And there it is, the Stanley Cup being presented to a CHL team, not an NHL team. And here comes Captain Connor McDavid coming to collect the Stanley Cup for the very first time in his career. He could not do it with the Edmonton Oilers, but instead he's going to capture the Stanley Cup with the Rogel BK of the CHL, a very, very good European hockey team. Rogel BK would end up beating the Red Hawks or whatever the hell their name, something Hawks in six games in the SHL finals. Now, of course, Connor McDavid is going to lead the entire CHL in goals with 17 and points with 34 for the entire playoffs. Sandine would come in second place with 17, Handmark 15, Ryan 14. But overall, Connor McDavid would be goal per game and absolutely dominant in the playoffs. Now, unfortunately, there are no awards for the CHL, so we're going to have to move on to Connor McDavid's next team in the next league in Europe. Now, Connor McDavid is going to be joining the Porn Asat of the Liga Hockey League in Europe. Now, I got to be honest, the only reason I put him on this team is because of their hilarious name for their team. I don't know if I have like a 13 year old humor, but regardless, he's going to be on the Porn Asat. Pour in, porn. Well, regardless, he's going to be in the hub or on the hub. Now, obviously, McDavo is going to be on the first line of the Porn Asat. He's a 97 overall. And hopefully, this team is going to be good for the Liga Hockey League. I have no idea how good the other teams are. But regardless, let's see if Connor McDavid. McDavid can go on and go two for two, winning the Liga championship. So of course, the poor and a sat are going to end up finishing first in the Liga. They will go 33, 17, 4, and 6. They were just barely the best team in the Liga. This Ruman Luko will come in second place, only one point behind us. The same amount of wins though. And Connor McDavid is going to light the entire Liga on fire. He would have 73 goals and 136 points in only 60 games. Followed by Joinsu. Oh my god, I butchered that name. Regardless, he had 46 
47 points. This guy had 44, 32. Yes, McDavo is going to have the most goals at 73 and the most points at 136. The next closest was 60, then 57, 53, 52, and 51. For goals, it was not even close. The next closest would be Veselainen with 27 goals. Philstrom had 25, but Connor McDavid is going to dominate the Liga a lot better than he did the SHL. And here's what the Liga Hockey League playoffs are looking like. It's very similar to the SHL. Connor McDavid's team is up against some yellow team. I have no idea what their name is, but regardless, will we see Connor McDavid go on and capture the Liga title in his very first season here? And just like that, Connor McDavid and the Porn Asat are in the Liga Hockey League Championships. Will we see Connor McDavid conquer another hockey league in Europe and win the Liga Cup? And just like that, Connor McDavid is going to conquer another hockey league in Europe as he's going to lead the Porn Asat to the Liga Championship, whatever it's called, as they dominate their way through the playoffs and McDavid proving again why he's the best player in the entire world. Of course, you already know Connor McDavid's taking home that Con Smythe baby. Who else would it be? God damn, Connor, you are looking mighty fine right now, I will admit. And there it is, the Stanley Cup being raised yet again here in Europe. It's doing a tour basically at this point to every European hockey league. And here comes Mr. McDavid yet again coming to lift the Stanley Cup for the second time in two seasons, the second time in his career. This time with the Porna Sat of the Liga Hockey League. He won the SHL last season and now he just won the Liga Hockey League in Europe. For the playoffs, Connor McDavid is going to absolutely carry his team 21 goals and 37 points in only 17 playoff games. Obviously, he's going to have the most goals and points for the entire playoff run. The next closest was 18 points and for goals, the next closest was 8 goals. That is not even close. McDavid had 21 goals in 17 games in the playoffs. Again, there are no awards for all these European hockey leagues, so that is unfortunate. But regardless, now we're going to move on to the next hockey league in Europe that Connor McDavid will be joining. And the next team that Connor McDavid is going to be joining is the Iserlon Roosters of the DEL. I have no idea what the DEL stands for, but it doesn't matter because it's a hockey league in Europe. And take a look at these jerseys, boys. They are filled with ads. In 30 years, this is what the NHL jerseys are going to look like. Gary Bettman is going to ruin the entire NHL with ads on jerseys. Honestly, I thought the fact that the team name was called the Roosters was pretty funny, and that is why Connor McDavid is going to be joining them. Hopefully, he's going to win a DEL championship or cup whatever the hell they want to call it. Why do they use a brown helmet when brown is not even in one of their team colors? You know what? We are going to nickname it the Shit Bucket, boys. Connor McDavid, the Shit Bucket, the Iserlon Roosters. Now, obviously, he's still going to be on the first line. Still a 97 overall. Now, let's simulate and see if Connor McDavid and the Roosters can go on and win the DEL Cup. So, the Roosters are actually going to end up finishing fifth in the entire DEL. They will go 28, 22, 2, and 4. Surprisingly enough, Connor McDavid is not going to lead his team to the first seed in the DEL. And surprisingly enough, McDavid is going to have a terrible season. Only 47 goals and 75 points. That is only going to be in 56 games. So the dude was not even goal per game. I guess maybe the competition in the DEL is better than the Liga or the SHL. He's still going to lead the entire DEL in goals with 47 and points with 75. The next closest would be 64 as Daga Vins is going to get that. After that, 63, 57, 55 points, 53. Patrick Reimer. Maybe that is James Reimer's brother. Who knows? Regardless, McDavid is still going to absolutely dominate, just not to the extent that he dominated in the Liga. So here is what the DEL playoffs look like. There's only going to be three rounds yet again. I'm pretty sure every league in Europe has the same format, but will we see Connor McDavid conquer the DEL just like he did to the SHL and the Liga? And just like that, Connor McDavid and the Roosters are going to be in the DEL finals. Are they going to go on and win the DEL Cup? And yet again, another Another one bites the dust as Connor McDavid and the Roosters are going to go on and win the DEL title, the league title, as Connor McDavid has conquered another hockey league in Europe. He's on a world tour at this point, to be honest, as they are going to beat them in five games in the DEL finals. Yet again, McDavid is going to take home the Conn Smythe Award for the Roosters, the Iserlon Roosters. I think that's how you pronounce their name. Regardless, McDaddy's going to take it home, baby. And there it is, the Stanley Cup on its world tour, now traveling to to 
wherever the hell this team is from in Europe. Here he comes for a third year in a row. Why the hell are there so many hats on the ice right now? I have no idea, but regardless, McDavid's lifting the Stanley Cup for the third time in three years. Three different European hockey leagues, three different Stanley Cup wins, and now we're off to a whole nother hockey league in Europe. Now McDavid would end up waking up for the playoffs as he's going to have 22 goals and 51 points and 21 playoff games. The next closest was 21 points for goals, not even close, nine goals. Overall though, McDavid had a very good season, dominating the playoffs and winning another league title in Europe. And for the next hockey team that Connor McDavid is going to be joining, it's going to be none other than the hockey club, Davos. Now I added him to this team for obvious reasons because he is McDavo and McDavo is now going to be playing for the Davos. Obviously he's going to be starting on the first line, still a 97 overall. This team honestly looks a little better than the past teams, but overall I'm not too sure on compared to the league. Can Connor McDavid go on and conquer another hockey league in Europe? So the hockey club Davos are going to absolutely dominate as they finish first going 34, 11, 3, and 4. That is three overtime wins and four overtime losses. They do things a little differently here in Europe. I'm pretty sure it's three points for a regulation win, two points for an overtime win, one point for an overtime loss, and no points for a regulation loss. The ZSC Lions are going to end up coming in second place going 28, 13, 6, and 5. This is actually the team that Austin Matthews played for before he came into the NHL. Connor McDavid is going to have a very solid season, 52 goals and 104 points and only 54 games. He would absolutely carry his team as the next closest would be two 40-point scorers. Yet again, McDavo is going to lead the Davos and the entire league in goals with 52 and points with 104. Kovar had 55, Formington 53, Letton in 53, Vertanen had 53. I swear to God, I thought that was going to be Jake Vertanen, not Jesse Vertanen. And here is what the National League playoffs look like. It's very similar. Actually, it's identical to every other league in Europe. There's going to be three rounds, a quarterfinal, semifinal, and of course, the finals. Will we see Connor McDavid and the Davos reach the National League finals? And conveniently enough, Connor McDavid and the Davos are going to be in the National League finals up against Austin Matthews' former team, the ZSC Lions. I believe they're called Zurich. That is where they're from, at least. Will Connor McDavid conquer another hockey league in Europe and win the National League title? Connor McDavid and the Hockey Club Davos are going to go on and win the National League title as they beat the Zurich Lions in five games in the National League finals. As McDavid is going to conquer another hockey league in Europe that is four down, one more to go, as he continues to prove why he's the best hockey player in the entire world. And somehow Connor McDavid is not going to take home the Conn Smythe for the Hockey Club Davos. I have no idea how. How often do you see a goalie win the Conn Smythe in NHL 23? That is just straight up bizarre. But there it is, the Stanley Cup being raised yet again, this time in the National League. Here he comes yet again, Connor McDavid coming to collect the Stanley Cup for the fourth time in his career. He's been in four different European hockey leagues and has won them all. He's got one spot left to go. Let's see if we can conquer it, baby. I would also like to mention that the Hockey Club Davos have by far the coolest arena in NHL 23. I mean, just taking a look at it, it is honestly so beautiful. I would love, absolutely love, if we could add this arena into ESHL and have this as our team's arena. I mean, the wood is just so nice looking. Look at this. This feels like a hockey barn in Europe. I wish we could have it in World of Chell, but unfortunately, EA Sports probably is not going to add it there. I just really wanted to highlight how cool this arena looked because I was honestly mesmerized when I jumped into the game. Yet again, Connor McDavo is going to absolutely carry the hockey club Davos as he's going to have 22 goals and 41 points and 17 playoff games. Obviously having the most goals and points in the entire National League playoffs. The next closest would be Stransky with 22. Raffle had 14. Lettinen had 14 as well. And for the final team that Connor McDavid is going to be joining in the European Hockey League is going to be none other than the Graz 99ers of the Ice Hockey League in Europe. I literally kid you not, that is the name of the team. They are called the 99ers. Shout out to Wayne Gretzky. And this has to be hands down the worst hockey jersey I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean, pure orange with black just does not mix whatsoever. This jersey in general is very disgusting if I'm being honest. But I mean, maybe Connor McDavid can make it sexy, you never know. So 
the Moser Medical Graz 99ers are going to end up finishing first in the entire ice hockey league. They would go 26, 12, 5, and 5. Only one more win than second place, but we would end up having like eight more points than them somehow. I guess the five overtime wins definitely helped us out here. McDavo is going to finish the season with 52 goals and 89 points and only 48 games. That's not a lot of games to play for an entire season. The next closest on his team would be 40 points and 25, 22, and 21. For the entire Ice Hockey League, yes, McDavid is going to have the most goals at 52 and the most points at 89. He was not even close. Bugovitz had 45. Jack Hughes, John Hughes, this is like his brother or something. Jack Hughes' brother is going to have 17 goals and 45 points. His name is John Hughes. Ganal had 45. Tikar had 42. Henrich, 42. Now for goals, I mean, a couple players had 20 goal seasons. This guy had 23, 23, 20, and 19. But I mean, nobody even came close to the greatest hockey player in the entire world. That is Connor McDavid. So this is actually really cool. Since we were the best team in the entire ice hockey league, we could actually choose our opponent for our first round matchup. Now we have the Capitals, the AV19, the Die High. Oh my God, what are these names? You know what? I'm going to go with the Washington Capitals here. We're going to choose them for the very first round here in the playoffs. As it is still going to be a three round format, a quarterfinals, semifinals, and then the finals. Can McDavid go on and finally complete the challenge of winning basically every trophy? in every single European Hockey League. And just like that, we are gonna be in the Ice Hockey League Finals with the Graz 99ers. We are up against the Foxes. What does the Fox say? Ring, 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 ring. Okay, that's enough. Can Connor McDavid go on and conquer the entirety of Europe, winning another Hockey League title? And just like that, the Graz 99ers are gonna go on and win the Ice Hockey League Championship. They are gonna beat the Foxes in five games in the finals as Connor McDavid has conquered the entirety of Europe completing the challenge showing everybody that he is the best hockey player in the world and probably the best of all time now of course Connor McDavid is going to take home the con Smythe for the 99ers shout out to Wayne Gretzky shout out to Connor McDavid shout out to Lauren Kyle this guy is truly something else and there it is the Stanley Cup being raised for a fifth time in Europe and here he is Con whoa 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 what Connor McDavid is not the captain I thought I made him the captain of the team regardless the captain or whoever this assistant captain guy is he's going to come and collect the stanley cup but he's going to pass it right off to Connor mcdavo because mcdavid is the heart and soul of this team i mean they basically he basically carried them there and here he is Connor mcdavid lifting the stanley cup for the fifth time in his career he's a five-time stanley cup champion he's won five different leagues across europe conquering the entire european planet european planet that does not make any sense now for the playoffs Connor mcdavid is going to have 23 goals and 33 points and only 19 games games he was absolutely dominant he would actually end up having 23 penalty minutes seven game winning goals of course he's gonna lead the entire ice hockey league in goals and points for the entire playoff run and that is gonna do it for this video boys Connor mcdavid has proven why he's the best hockey player in the entire world he went on in five different european leagues and captured titles in each of them if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this thank you all for watching and until next time don't be silly Wrap your willy.